as an independent musician, showing love to your peers is actually significantly more beneficial than you may think, okay? Oh my god! Wow! Oh my god! And today we're going to talk about five ways that you can actually show support to artists just like you so that you can reap those benefits. So sit tight and we'll get right into it in a sec. What up y'all, it's Keys, and today we're gonna talk about five ways that you can actually show support to other musicians just like you. But before we dive into that, I just wanna give a few announcements. I know it's been a while since you've seen my face on YouTube, but it's because I've just been really focusing on Instagram, but I realized that I really wanna be on YouTube. So to celebrate my return, I wanna kick it off with a monthly contest. <laughs> There are only two weeks left as of this recording uh, in the month, but I still want to do the contest anyway because I'm just really excited to be back on YouTube. Uh, but getting into the contest is pretty simple. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like, and comment, and boom, just like that, you're entered into the contest. Now, at the end of the month, I'm going to pull a winner out of my uh, digital hat, so to speak. And the winner is going to get a 20-minute strategy call with me where we can talk about whatever it is you want to talk about. Um, there is no limitations on the call whatsoever, so I'm very excited about that. And the other announcement that I have before we get into this juicy topic is that um, I have a workshop. Uh, it's completely free. And the workshop is centered around why the music business has such a high failure rate and what you can do to set yourself apart from all the other artists that are underperforming. There's 60,000 songs that are released on Spotify a day. <laughs> Serious? That is reported at one song per second, okay? So there's a lot of people out there making music. There's a lot of noise to cut through. We know that this market is very saturated, and I want to show you how to set yourself apart from that. So make sure you sign up for the workshop. Again, it's free. The link for the workshop is going to be in my description. Now, let's dive right into the really juicy content, starting with way number one that you can actually show support and it's very easy all you have to do is show up to somebody's show now if you don't live in the same state as the artist you can do something as simple as buy a virtual ticket to their show i've done it in the past before i'm not even gonna lie i've supported other artists by buying tickets to their shows because i really rock with them and i really want to establish some type of networking relationship with them or some type of working relationship with them so i show support by buying a ticket to their show even though i can't physically be there if i could i would but it's just a great way of me saying hey i see you i support what you're doing and keep doing it now thing number two that you can do is just be open to collaboration one thing i really hate is when an artist is real stiff or like bougie and they don't ever feel like they're good enough or other artists are good enough to work with seriously what the fuck are you doing come on now we're, we're well i say we but you're all the way at the bottom right now or you're working your way to the top so why not work your way to the top with other people who have the same amount of drive and ambition as you and on top of that what if they actually have a really good fan base that you can cross pollinate and tap into you are actually selling yourself short by not working with other people so keep an open mind when it comes to collaboration but of course you only want to do it if it makes sense you don't want to do it with anyone who's had who who have asses or anything like that now the third thing you want to do is something so simple go to your dsp find an artist that you like that's indie stream their music maybe take a screenshot of it tag them in your story so that they can see that you listen to their music what a flattering thing it is to find out that someone else who also makes music is a fan of yours i always thought it was pretty neat seeing people who are celebrities and you know did really well for themselves and are successful and currently in the business saying how someone else who's successful and currently in the business is like a huge inspiration of theirs or like just someone that they really enjoy listening to is mad dope to see on all levels so it's something that you definitely should do if you're not doing it already now the fourth thing you want to do is kind of what i mentioned in the third thing which is give them a shout out so you know if you're playing somebody's song in the background you know record yourself listening to the song and again share it to your story or um, send it to them or something like that uh, but if you put it in your story or something like that make sure you make sure you tag them so that they can see it otherwise they won't know that you even did it and it'll be 
not pointless, but it's not going to serve the purpose that you wanted it to. So make sure you shout them out. You know, it's going to make uh, it's going to make the other artists feel good. It's going to make them feel special. It's going to make them feel like, oh, I actually do have eyes on me. And is that not what we're you know in this to do? Now, the last thing that you can do is very simple. This fifth thing is buying their merch. OK, you don't have to. This is really an optional one, but I highly, 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 highly suggest it. There's no there's no way of saying that you believe somebody than to actually put money in their hand, you know, hard, your hard earned money at that. So buying somebody's merch is a great way to support them. Make sure you take a picture of, um, of yourself wearing the merch and again, tag them because if you don't, they will not know, or maybe they will after they see the purchase, but either way, you know, you want to make sure that you, you know, you follow all the way through with the action make sure you get the merch and then make sure you let them know that you do have the merch and talk to people about it. You know, let them know what it's about. So those are my five ways that you can show support to other artists that are at the same level as you. If there's any other ways that I may have missed in the video, please feel free to let us know what's working for you in the comments because we're all here to help one another. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next video and make sure that you definitely attend that workshop and like, comment, and subscribe if this video was very helpful for you. Again, it's Keys. I'll see you guys in the next video.